All right, you guys, it is redemption day for this 2022 VBWRX. Our guys over at BNR Turbo sent us this G30 770 that they are looking to put in production. So that way we can go through and test it, make sure it's responsive and make sure that it's a good option for you guys. Our good friends over at ETS also helped us out with this CATA J pipe that runs a GESI CAT for emission compliance, as well as their four inch intercooler that we're gonna be installing on this car with everything else. This car already has an ETS intake, so we are really excited to see how it performs, what it does, and if this turbo is gonna be a good option for you. This isn't gonna be a how to install the turbo video. This is pretty much just going to be a video of us installing it. So stay tuned, we're gonna get this going. And if you guys want more videos like this, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe because we have a lot of content coming up with AWE, Borla, and a few other companies. So let's dive into it and let's get this VB making some jam. some of the numbers that it's putting out prior uh, to the turbo. It's currently on a D-Man OTS stage one for 91 octane. Uh, obviously we're gonna be doing a full custom pro tune on this with Will at PD Tuning. Really excited, uh, even just the car, it's very responsive already, so it'll be exciting to see how this adjusts over. I'm absolutely in love with the shifter though. I don't know what short shifter he has, but oh my gosh, it is. It's like notchy, it is perfect. I'm, I'm very impressed with the BB. It makes me want one, to be honest. All right, so what we're gonna do right here is just a little third gear pull once we get to the top. There's a limitation in fuel. There's a limitation in the engine. There's a limitation in the trans. Uh, customers are completely aware, like, hey, trans might take a crap on this eventually. So he's like, you know what? I'm doing a doing an STI swap on it. I want to do, you know, build motor stuff like that. So this customer's basically just getting ready, right, for all the next steps that come along with making this type of power. But depending on how responsive this turbo is, this engine might last longer than than he's gonna expect, so. 
obviously we're going to do a full pro tune on it make sure everything is within spec right where we want it uh, to try and keep it safe never know what's going to happen though when you're driving a Subaru so it makes a Subaru a Subaru it makes a Subaru a Subaru So we got the new turbo mounted on to the exhaust manifold and with the new inlet just finished getting all the lines connected we got the intercooler on um, as you've seen and some of the cold side pipe or all of the cold side piping and we'll get the hot side on here in a second as well on this bnr um, i did have an issue getting the oil catch back on this v-band for the exhaust housing of the turbo was aimed down too low so you just have to loosen it and rotate it up further into the heat shield and then you can put that back on and get your catch back on all right we got the downpipe on onto the cat back and now we're going to go ahead and put this cup wear as well and then we'll be able to go up top and finish that hot side. All right, we got the hot side charge pipe on. We got them all installed. We're gonna bleed the cooling system and do a boost leak check just to make sure everything's installed correctly. Get the new map flashed on there and we'll be ready to go. Three days later. Hey guys, so we have the VB with the new BNR Turbo strapped up to the dyno. This thing is going to be making some jam, hopefully. Again, we're only running 91 octane at a very high elevation, so these numbers aren't going to look crazy impressive. But you have to remember that with better fuels like 93 octane, a better elevation, this turbo is going to make more power as well. It's going to give you the room to grow with ethanol and a fuel system, as well as going over to a built motor and STI transmission. So this car is stock motor, stock trans. We did have to keep it somewhat conservative, but this is going to give people a really good idea of what it'll look like for wanting to grow with their car. At the price point that this turbo is going to be released, we think that it's going to be an extremely good option for you. But we'll let the dyno numbers speak for themselves. We'll look at the boost curve. We'll look at how well the power band is. And then you guys can make that data on your own. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Let us know. We're happy to help you out and get everything going. But let's get this car strapped down to the dyno and let's see what it makes.
a little longer than a few minutes later. All right, you guys, so we just got this beautiful VB off of the dyno with the new BNR turbo. We're gonna be posting up the dyno sheet now. This car made 380 horsepower just over it and about 398 foot-pounds of torque to the wheel corrected. Now this is at a 5,300 DA, which is very thin air. We are up at about 4,300 feet of actual altitude. And again, this car is only not 91 pump gas. So these numbers out of this turbo are extremely impressive. When you're running 93 or an ethanol blend, you can expect this turbo to make mid 400s to high 500s, depending on what ethanol blend you're running or what quality of fuel you're running. Overall, we think that this is going to be an extremely good option with the torque coming in early, allowing you to run this on a stock block, stock trans, and then when you're ready to grow, you'll be able to turn it up and put on the STI transmission, put on your flex fuel kit and go from there. This car only has four modifications. It's got an intake, a front mount, the turbo, and the J-pipe, along with the axis port and tuning, of course, but this is a very good option when you look at flex fuel kits that are about $1,000 and everything else that you have to do to get ready for that, just to make less power than what this is gonna make or about the same. This really is a great option for adding power and think ahead for your build. These turbos, we're still working out the pricing on them, but they are going to be extremely competitive when it comes to other comparable options on the market. All right, you guys, so for the VBWRX BNR G3770, pricing is gonna be coming in at $17.99. That is for pre-orders only. Once our pre-orders are closed and these units are in stock, we're gonna be having the price set at $19.99. The retail price of $19.99 may change depending on any tariffs or economic data that continues to drive prices of parts being imported in up. But we will make sure that we are giving you the best price possible. So if you don't wanna have to spend more, buy your BNR Turbo exclusively at Graveyard Performance today. We're gonna do a very specific pre-order that you can only get here at Graveyard Performance. And we appreciate you guys watching. So stay tuned. We have a lot more coming for this and we are going to make sure that you guys get the best bang for your buck on this turbocharger kit. Huge shout out to Will at PD Tuning. He took care of the tuning process on this and was extremely meticulous in going through and making sure that everything is set up how we want it to be set up to make sure that this is safe for a stock trans and engine. Now we did run into a little bit of clutch slip and starting to burn up the clutch. So if you guys are running an upgraded clutch, you'll be able to take this power a little bit further than what we saw today on the dyno, especially at our altitude on a pretty low quality fuel so again make sure you guys like subscribe follow the youtube series because we have more content coming out all the time we appreciate you guys sticking through nick over here at graveyard see you next time cool cool cool, cool. are we recording all right i don't know what the f i'm saying